Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. Hope everyone's doing okay. So, today, since the Patreon setup is taking a little longer than I expected, I wanted to get a move on for the final video for this week here. The goal for this week's video is going to be sort of a basic introduction to Scratchboard. Um, I'm only, I'm not very, not a master on this, as I've mentioned for many other uh, projects before. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of show a quick insight on how I go about making the projects that I do with it. Um, I have a couple of, of examples that uh, I'll show you here that I've uh, posted on my po uh, social media before. It's just gonna basically be something along this line here. So the board I'm gonna be using, it starts out as a solid gray. It's actually the Ampersand brand here. Uh, it's a, basically it's like a Colland clay ground that they coat over evenly with um, India ink. And then when you scratch, it ends up becoming white underneath and creates the image that you want. I know with the projects usually they go for is kind of, they scratch out the black to make the, the highlights with the white, but I kind of always leave it inverted so that my highlights are actually the black, which isn't necessarily, I don't think how it was intended, because as you can see on the, um, sort of like the advertised uh, piece here, the white would then be painted in with color, which is something I haven't figured out how to do yet. But um, I always like the quality of these in the sense that the lines are the fine, like you can't tell here, I'll put it up on screen. Uh, the lines are actually the finest that I've ever seen in any other sort of project. So I really enjoy the quality and it's great for the, the cross hatching effect that I love to play with. So um, yeah, that's today's uh, project so far. So that's gonna be today's project. Mine here is a eight by 10 and it's uh, the board themselves. They're pretty expensive in comparison to like buying a sheet of paper, but they're actually pretty inexpensive for what they are because they're, I feel like they're pretty durable. Um, when you buy them, pay attention. I know when I bought this one here for this project, um, when I bought mine, it was faulty and it already had a crack and the piece broke off of it here. Um, so I think when you go to pick up yours, wherever you seem to buy it from, uh, make sure that the <laughs> plastic isn't broken so that there's no scratches on the surface and so that there's no chipped uh, border here. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna get started here. I'm gonna, um, not really sure what the subject matter is as of right now, but I'm gonna look up a reference and then we're gonna get started. So here we go. So the longest part for me here is always the start. Um, one of my favorite qualities of Scratchboard is that once you've put something down, it's there and it's stuck. 
which is something that used to actually frustrate me a lot because I was always so obsessed with the detail. Um, like I said, it's something I've grown to love. Now that the general sketch is sort of down, I can begin to create the lines and detail that start to bring the image itself to life a little bit more. So here's on. To, here we go to the next part here.
And there we are, everybody. That's uh, the whole drawing here. About a few hours and a couple of breaks later, uh, <laughs> we finally reached the finish here. The project itself didn't turn out how I pictured it would go, but there was a couple of mistakes made, so I kind of had to adjust the values there with the face. But all in all, I think it was pretty good. I kind of picked up speed there and figured out the uh, figured out the motion of everything after a while, which is something you just gotta get a feel for, I think. Uh, you just kind of go through and you start out kind of rough, like I did there, where it was kind of slower at the start because it was like, uh, it's like you're afraid to make the first move because it is so permanent, but that's one of the uh, beautiful things about it is that you just kind of keep moving and you adapt after your mistakes or your miss marks. You just kind of go through and you, you know, something develops from it and it can either be a success or it can be a failure, but um, I think this one was okay. It's not, not, not the best, but it was fun either way. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching it. Hopefully, hopefully you got something from it. Um, if you like what I did here, if you like what I do, be sure to subscribe and throw down a comment if you have anything you want to discuss. Uh, I look forward to, you know, making discussion or seeing what you think. Oh, my camera is falling right now. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna kind of wrap everything up clean and then uh, I think I'm gonna, between tonight and tomorrow, I'm gonna work on the Patreon page like I said. But, um, but yeah, if you like what I do, just let me know. And uh, until then guys, I'll see you next week here on uh, YouTube and I hope you guys take care. Have a good one. Bye.